I found the best least time consuming method of farming skins, all using the power of statistics. Cause if there's anything a YBA player needs, other than a father figure, it's cool cosmetics for their LEGO game. The concept of skins is pretty simple, or so it seems. Dramatic foreshadowing. Hold it! As little as 2.5% of you watching are actually subscribed. I'd say I put so much effort into my videos, but you can already see that. I even spent half of my Robux on this suit for this tiny little segment. And odds are you, right now, yes, you have already watched a couple of my videos before. Not to slander anyone, but have you seen the average YBA video quality? It's something like this. And like, bro, I made YBA work with a Wii Remote. Can't you see the creativity? The determination? Do you even know the work it takes to make this work with something made to play Wii Golf? Point is, subscribe, moving on. Setting aside all the Robux, stand rolls, and lucky arrows, you have a base 1% chance of getting a skin. Whenever you get a stand with any method and you do not get a skin, your chance increases by 0.04% and resets back to 1% once you get a shiny stand. So using this formula I deduced, we can accurately calculate the chance we have after a set amount of uses, and every 25 uses, the chance increases by 1%. Before continuing, let's go over how chances work real quick. A 1 in a 100 chance means that every 100 tries, only one succeeds. So a 2 in a 100 chance means that every 100 tries, 2 succeeds or more accurately, 1 every 50. So with a pity of 1, you should theoretically get a skin after 100 arrow uses, and by the time you reach pity 2, you'd have 50 more tries to go. Makes sense, yeah? Not really. When calculating different chances, 1% means 1 over 100, or 0.01. Because in this case, 1 means a certain chance, or to put it more simply, 1 over 1. That's the certainty point. So by the time you reach pity 1.52, using the formula I did use, you would have already summed up a 17.6% chance of getting a shiny. So by the time you reach a 2% pity, you would have summed up a 38.96% chance of getting a shiny. So basically 40%. And that number only goes up because by the time you reach 3% pity, you'd have gotten a whopping 101.96 chance of getting a shiny stand. So statistically, by the time you reach 3% pity, you are guaranteed to get a stand skin. As for arrow stands, there isn't really much you can do. You just have to use arrows and pray to the lord above that you get the right stand at the right time. As for other options though, like upgrading stands or doing quests, there is absolutely a method to ensure that you get the most efficient chance chance without wasting too much time. Allow me to demonstrate. So I'm gonna use arrows and see how often I get shiny stands and at what pity. Only problem is the Halloween event is active right now and it doubles the chances of getting a skin, so we'll need to adjust our calculations for this demonstration. If the chances are doubled, that means we just need a 50% chance from the original calculation. So to get a guaranteed skin, we'd need to have a pity of 2.2. Now we get to farming. Alright, so we're at a 1.96 pity right now and we got a shiny. I mean, it's a miserable shiny, but still a shiny nonetheless. All right, this time we got another horrible shiny at 51.44, and we got another shiny at 1.32. Now here is the issue. We don't want stinky arrow stands. As I said before, we want quest or evolved stand skins. So we need to be as close as possible to that 100% chance pity at 2.2, which we won't be able to reach if we keep getting stands and resetting the pity. Lucky for you, I have just the solution. There are four stands you can get using rip cages. Dusk Act 1, The World A you, scary monsters, and D4C. Tusk Act 1 and scary monsters don't have any skins, meanwhile every arrow stand has a skin. So whenever you get these two stands, it's basically a guaranteed pity increase. So using a ribcage is a 50% guaranteed pity increase. So assuming the amount of ribcages you have is 10, we'd need to start using ribcages at pity 1.84, which will decrease our chances of getting a skin from 61.68% to 30.84%. So now with our plan set, I will grind again and see if I can reach a pity of 1.84 without getting a skin. Bye bye gold experience. Okay, so we're almost there, we just need to survive these two arrows without getting a shiny. Oh thank god. Now with our 1.84 pity secured, I'm gonna use 10 rip cages, and if we make it without getting a skin, we're gonna be attempting to get a shiny made in heaven. Oh wait, right, I forgot to add Worsiness. I have Worsiness 5?! 
Are you even serious right now? Oh wait, I miscalculated something. I actually need just one more attempt to reach 100% chance. No! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Okay, last time. We did it. Now, all that's left is to do the Maiden Heaven quest and see if we can succeed. So I started with farming D over heaven and this was by far the most stressful farming session I've ever had with YBA. The boss was pretty stubborn about this whole dying thing and whenever I did kill him he wouldn't drop the bone and by this point I was ready to commit crimes against the entire human race and after 5 hours this happened. Uh, do you? Even he is fed up with this RNG bullcrap. Oh, there he goes, that's a cry for help if I've ever seen one. So I decided to get some help farming, and while that made killing Dio much easier, the RNG was still being unfavorable to say the least. But after 3 more hours, I eventually got it. So now it was time to farm part 6 Joe. This boss was so much easier to solo for some reason, but I did get help regardless. And my luck seems to have flipped because after a couple of tries, I got the disc no problem. So now all that was left was to climb up the mountain, pray to god the RNG doesn't screw me over any more than it already has, and summon my stand. Let's do this. We're finally here. This is it. After hours and hours of painful grinding, 